Hi there. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. GB. I understand that you are a brand new patient. Well, wonderful. Absolutely uh, no problem. I'm happy to welcome you in. It just means a little bit of a longer consultation, but I won't keep you for too long. Okay. So, could I just verify your name? And how do you spell the last name? L. Okay. Perfect. No, they seem they misspelled that. I knew that looked a little bit interesting. Okay, it's just the three letters. Perfect. Well, it's very nice to meet you. Uh, where are you from? Oh, wow. All right. So what brings you to America? Well, if I would recommend anything, uh, have you been to New York City? You haven't? New York City is a very overwhelming, but um, very, very typical of the American tourist experience. Uh, if you want to be dazzled, and we're not too far from there, so I would definitely make a trip if you can. So it just seems like you are here for a an annual checkup. Are you planning on staying here long? You just want to make sure you have a doctor in the United States that you know knows your medical history. Uh, make sure uh, you can call if you need something. I totally understand that. Yes, that's very smart. So let me see. When is your birthday? May. Does that make you a Taurus? I'm not caught up in uh, astrology or anything, but uh, I think I'm a Sagittarius. Okay, so I'm just going to ask you a few questions uh, just about just some very basic uh, medical questions so I know what to look for. Uh, I'm sure you filled out a lot of paperwork in the reception area. Yes, of course. Okay, so... Okay. Have you gotten your flu shot this year? You haven't. Okay. Well, that's not surprising. Uh, especially when you're traveling, um, there are going to be different sort of vaccine uh, suggestions and requirements. But I would recommend that you get the flu vaccine it's not too late, uh, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of traveling around the states. It's just um, just in your best interest to be protected, and your body might not be used to all of the germs and things that are around. Yes, yeah, so we can get you set up with a flu shot. That's totally fine. It's actually... Uh, very, very affordable, especially depending on what type of insurance you have, but we'll, we can check that with the front desk. And do, 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 do you drink or smoke? Okay, about once a week drinking. Um, and what do you typically drink? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's not, that's nothing too concerning for me. Um, but you don't smoke. Okay. And how often do you exercise? Two to three times a week. That's really good. What types of exercise do you do? Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Um, what, what's your profession? Okay. A manager. So do you spend a lot of time sitting at your desk? Do you get a lot of uh, sunlight in your office? Uh, do you take breaks? It's definitely important to take breaks 
uh, both from eye strain from looking at your computer screen and also just getting up and moving around your muscles, so a break from sitting. I'd usually recommend, if you can, every 10 minutes or so if you catch yourself, to look away from the computer screen, look at something else, and then back. And uh, then about every half an hour to hour or so, I would say get up and, and stretch. You don't have to do anything uh, major at all. Go get a drink of water, walk to the bathroom, just you know, touch your toes for a little bit. I would definitely suggest that office jobs um, may not come with a lot of dangers. Uh, I like to ask all of my patients what they do for a living because uh, it does affect your health depending on what you do. Uh, but office jobs, you know, we can see a lot of eye strain, back pain, uh, wrist problems, things like that. Yeah. Okay. So... Let me see. Do you have any uh, medical conditions or issues that you'd like me to make sure I look at or any questions before we start? Gastritis. I see. This is something I can definitely take a look at. So what are your symptoms? some stomach pain and yeah yeah that can be hard because it's hard to define why we are getting stomach pain mm -hmm. have you been diagnosed before okay i can definitely recommend some things to you uh, especially if you don't want to go on any sort of medication kind of be controlled by your eating habits can help a lot um, we can try certain elimination diets to see what triggers the gastritis. We can go over that later. Um, let me actually take a look right now. just want to listen to your heart and then look at your eyes, ears, nose, throat, get your blood pressure. And did, uh, did the nurse get your height and weight? What was your height? Okay, perfect. And have you lost any sort of like the weight recently or noticed any big changes? Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take a listen to your heart. So I'm just going to ask you to breathe in. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in. Hold it, and out. I'm just going to place this on your back, breathe in, and hold it, and out. Okay, now you can breathe normally. Okay, very good. Your heart sounds very normal. Do you have any sort of heart palpitations or any sort of uh, medical history problems with your heart? Okay, good, good, good. So we are going to, I'm just going to pull up my document here, and I'm just going to get your blood pressure. Just take this little cuff. I'm going to put this on your arm and then it's going to get a little bit tight I'm going to go ahead and take a listen here Your 
blood pressure is completely normal. Not high, not low. Very good. So what is your diet like? Do you have any favorite foods? I actually haven't had dumplings in quite some time. I think there are a few places around here that might serve something along that nature, but I don't think I've ever found a, found a good place. I have a sesame allergy myself, so sometimes it's hard for me to uh, go to certain types of cuisine. Uh, different restaurants have a lot of uh, a lot of sesame in it. Chinese restaurants, Japanese, Korean food, Mediterranean food. Uh, yeah, it's rough. But good, no, I'm glad you enjoy it. Uh, make sure you get your vegetables as well. And some protein. Good. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is just take your temperature. You want to grab those vitals there. Just go ahead and put this under your tongue and just hold it there. It's going to take a second. Okay, very good. And then I also just want to take a look at your eyes, uh, inside your ears, your nose, your throat. How have you been enjoying your travels? Good. That's a long plane ride, huh? Does flying bother you? No? A lot of patients uh, complain about uh, their flights flying home. Oh, oh, yeah. But I'm glad to hear that. It doesn't bother you. Okay. So I'd like to just use this light to take a look in your eyes. So if you wouldn't mind removing your glasses. Thank you. And go ahead and look straight ahead, just past my shoulder. Okay. Now over the shoulder. Okay, your pupils are dilating and contracting as normal when I pull the light right in front of them. Um, if you could look up for me. And now, look to the side. Other side. And look down. I'm just going to go ahead and pull your eyelids up here. Just give it a look. Like that. Okay. You have very nice eyes. I quite like uh, dark eyes. I think are very striking. Your eyes look good. Um, I assume that your glasses prescription is up to date. Good. Okay, I will make you do a vision test today. I will, however, take a look in your ears. And have you had any trouble? Um, any trouble hearing? Uh, any buildup? Good. All right. Well, let me just take a look. side looks good. I'm just going to look at the other side here. Okay. I don't see any uh, major buildup or anything to be concerned about. If you're having trouble hearing, you can certainly 
uh, stop by and we can do an ear cleaning for you. Mm -hmm. We would use, I don't think I have one lying around, but we use a, a pick. Clear away the big blockage and then use water and put that uh, in the ear canal to sort of uh, essentially power wash the inside of your ear. Some patients love it. They swear by it. Okay, so I'm gonna check your throat. So if you wouldn't mind, just go ahead and open your mouth and say, ah. Uh, Very good, thank you. I just want to take a look with this mirror, so keep your mouth open. Just around the mouth, find the teeth, around the tongue. Make sure that everything is looking normal. You want to make sure that there's nothing, uh, there's no growths or signs of decay or things like that, um, in which case I would just send you to specialists, but it's my job to make sure. Yeah. I did notice that your eyes are fairly dry. Uh, if you just traveled, I could only understand why um, a lot of the airplane environment can be very, very uh, drying. Um, so uh, you could use these. These are just some um, eye drops. And what you do with them is look up. You just do two drops in each eye. Yes, yeah, very moisturizing and that should clear up any redness. Okay, so I'll leave these with you. All right. Also, I just want to look in your nose. Good. Perfect. Okay, so, um, have you gotten your reflexes tested recently? So all I'm going to do is use this uh, sort of rubber hammer, you can feel it, and I'm going to go ahead and just tap on your elbow here. Good, that's it. I'll tap on your other elbow here. I'm going to do the same thing to your knees. Good. Other knee. Good. And now I'm just going to examine lightly uh, just around the major parts of your body. I'm going to press a bit on your stomach and you let me know if anything hurts or feels uncomfortable or swollen or anything like that. Okay. So I'm going to start at the top of your head. Uh, luckily, you have very short hair, which makes it easy for me to see your scalp, make sure that there's no sores or uh, lice or anything like that. Everything looks very clean and good. I know. One day I'm just going to shave my head and be done with it, honestly. All right. And now I'm going to just press on your face. I'm going to feel your lymph nodes. Good. Down your neck. Top of your shoulders down the sides of your arm. Okay. Now I'm going to do some tapping on your torso. So again, go ahead and let me know if anything feels uncomfortable. I'm just feeling for the resistance and the, um, the density of your organs and your muscles, just to make sure everything is normal. Good. 
nothing hurt? Perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna go down your legs here and your feet. Everything looks good. And now, I do want to talk about your gastritis complaints. Um, especially with your diet. I think that we could do a form of elimination diet here. Uh, with gastritis, uh, it's going to be a lot of uh, things like processed foods, gluten, acidic foods, dairy, sugar, spicy foods, alcohol, all the fun stuff. Exactly. Um, so I'd like for you to eliminate these from your diet um, for a few weeks at a time if you can. You can try one and see if it goes away. You can try them all at once and then we can slowly introduce them back in. But especially if it's bothering you that much, cutting out these foods, especially things like sugar, processed foods, um, and alcohol, is just going to be good for you. We can test you for gluten sensitivity as well. I'll go ahead and give you this. Okay. And what you can do actually is eat more garlic. Mm -hmm. You can take garlic supplements, um, or you can just literally eat more raw garlic. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, it does help. Um, you can also introduce uh, probiotics to your diet. So things like yogurt, kimchi, uh, kombucha. If you've never tried kombucha, that's an interesting one to introduce. Mm -hmm. Garlic and probiotics can certainly help. And these are just uh, sort of natural remedies that you can do uh, in your diet. Otherwise, we can start you on some supplements. Okay. All right. Well, I think all that's left then is to get you your flu shot. I got a new glove here. And um, your vaccine records otherwise seem to be up to date, so you shouldn't need anything else. This is definitely just a, it's a good idea to get. Yeah. I'm gonna get a cotton ball. And which arm do you predominantly write with? Okay. I'm gonna do it on your left arm. Okay. And I'm just gonna lift your sleeve here. you want to look away, I don't blame you, but this should be fairly painless. So take a deep breath, relax your arm. Three, two, one. Done. Very good. That's it. Yep, the needle size that we use is extremely thin, so honestly, sometimes I can't even tell when I've gotten an injection. So your arm could be a little bit sore, um, just for, you know, about a day or so. Uh, sometimes it can go up to two days, uh, depending on the person. So just take it easy. If you need to put some ice on it, that's totally fine. believed okay 
the last thing that I do want to do is sign you up for our patient portal. So, you can do all of that online. Do you mind giving me your email? How many O's? Okay. At I've never heard of that before. Dot com. Okay. We can sign you up for the patient portal. That way you can actually message me directly if you have any problems. Um, you can make appointments there, access your records, etc. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Um, thank you for choosing my practice, and hopefully if you need anything during your travels, during your stay here, that uh, we can help you with that. Have a safe trip and uh, enjoy all of your sightseeing. Alright, nice to meet you.